My vegan, my protein. My vegan, my protein. We're only eating my protein slash my vegan foods for a day. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So like I addressed, we are gonna be eating my vegan slash my protein foods for a day. I have quite the collection behind me here, quite the collection in my room, in the cupboards and in my other trolley too. And the main reason really is because I'm an ambassador for my protein. So I get gifted their products on a monthly basis to share with you guys. So I thought let's make a video on it because this would be a great video to tell someone to go watch when they need suggestions on if they want anything from my protein or my vegan because I get heaps and heaps and heaps of questions on suggestions on what I should get from my vegan and my protein. So if you're watching this, this is where I've sent you and this is the video for you. <laughs> Before we get started, let's do a little OOTD. My protein socks, my protein slippers, my protein cycling shorts and this my protein fleece. I absolutely love this fleece. It's so, so, so warm. Anyways, for breakfast, I thought of making some pancakes. So I'm going to be using their protein pancake mix. This is their new and improved pancake mix, guys. Honestly, their previous pancake mix, it had a load of bad reviews and it wasn't the best, but these ones make the most amazing pancakes considering it is a vegan protein powder mix. And then I'm going to be using some peanut butter powder. I do have their original peanut butter too, but for today's breakfast, I'm gonna be using the powder form. Then just on this trolley here, I've got some cacao powder because I'm gonna be using that to sprinkle on top of the pancakes also. And then I've got a few more other bits to top on it too. So, so far I have mixed the protein powder mix with some almond milk and that is literally all you need everything else is in the contents of the pancake mix um and now i'm just gonna whip it all up and then place it on the pans to cook up to make my pancakes so when it comes to making pancakes i am so impatient so i tend to use two pans so that's what we're doing today and with the remaining of the leftover batter i just eat it because it's so damn delicious <laughs> We've got a lovely circular pattern of pancakes with a spread of peanut butter which I love the powdered peanut butter because you can change the consistency of it and the consistency that I have on this plate is perfection. Then we've got some drizzled on butterscotch sugar free syrup because you guys know that is ultimately my favourite kind of syrup. We've also got the gooey filled salted caramel cookie which is just an elite cookie. Get to know if you don't know. I topped it with some chocolate chips also and some Biscoff biscuits. I know they aren't my protein products but they just jazz up the plate so we're having them on there. Let's cut her up shall we? My mouth is just salivating looking at that cookie honestly. It is one of the best cookies out there as well as their salted caramel chocolate chip one. So 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 good. Here we are. Mmm. So, so, so incredible. By the way, to get the cookie number one in its best form, you need to microwave it for 20 to 30 seconds, depending on how high your settings are on your microwave. And that will make the gooiness of the salted caramel goo stick out and be absolutely fabulous. We've also got myself some coffee here. And you know what's next, if you know me quite well. 
we are going to go in with a toffee drop i have quite the collection of drops so i do know what i'm talking about but the toffee drop is number one i also bring it into work for people to have and they absolutely love it too so all you need is simply one drop like so mix it all about like that and it makes the most delicious coffee i was never a coffee fan before having these drops the drops made me love coffee I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I'm a coffee kind of gal now because of these drops. I bring them with me everywhere. So my peeps, we are gonna enjoy my breakfast here and I shall meet you next at snack time. <laughs> Okay, so we are moving on now to my snack and I am going to be making brownies because it's going to be using a number of my protein slash my vegan goodies. Okay guys, so hear me out. Just to explain the little dot on my eyelid and in the middle of my nose, that is protein powder because your girl tried to attempt to make a thumbnail and the protein powder spilled everywhere on the floor and as I tried to pick it up, I obviously rubbed my eyes and it stayed there. Silly old me didn't go check, and now it's throughout this whole frame. So let's just take a second to ignore it, okay? <laughs> Including these salted caramel chocolate chip cookies that I was talking about earlier. I know I've had the salted caramel gooey filled cookie, but these are the chocolate chip versions, and they are just as heavenly. Usually, if I'm at work or something, I would just take this to go. I would have it by itself, or I would heat it up in the microwave. Um, for around 20 to 30 seconds, that's the sweet spot and it would be delicious just like the gooey filled one that I had this morning. And then the other component of the brownies will be my ultimate favourite soy protein isolate, the salted caramel protein powder. I have two 2.5 kg worth bags of these. As you can see, it's a Mahusa bag because I just love it so much. I put it in all my bakes, my porridge bowls, smoothie bowls, pancakes, waffles, cakes, loaf, brownies. You name it, I love using it because the taste of this is absolutely insane. So we are gonna be making like brookie style brownies using the salted caramel cookies as the base and then these um, within the brownie mixture as well as Peanut butter, the My Vegan All Natural Peanut Butter. This is just your usual kind of nut butter. It's not my favorite, I have to say, but for things like um, your baked goods, it does well because it comes in a one kg tub. I also have a cashew butter and an almond butter of this equivalent too. But I would say out of them all, this one does well when it comes to cooking goods. But just to show you what the actual chocolate chips look like on the insides, let's tear it apart. My goodness, that's what it looks like. So I'm just going to crumble these all up now, plonk them on the base of the baking tray, and that will be the cookie part of the brookies. to make the actual brownie batter just like my usual brownies we're adding some flour the salted caramel protein powder the my vegan cacao powder and then one big tablespoon of the peanut butter alternatively you can use their coconut oil with some of their chia seeds but today I'm going to use the peanut butter instead then I'm also going to sweeten it with one of these white chocolate flavor drops then you'll need to add some baking powder some almond milk and some chocolate chips. So whilst the brownies are in the oven, I might as well just show you my little my protein collection and the sorts of protein powders that I love the best. So I always get questions on what is the difference between the vegan protein blend and the soy protein isolate. The only difference really is that this one contains soy and then for those that can't tolerate soy, um, this one doesn't contain soy. It contains things like um, pea protein instead with a mix of other proteins inside of it. But this is in the chocolate salted caramel flavor. Um, then we've also got the ice latte, the blueberry and cinnamon, 
banana, vanilla, and then that's the pancake mix there. And then we've got some strawberry the salted caramel. And I also have the dark chocolate one in the corner over there. But essentially, my favorite ones has to be the salted caramel, the blueberry and cinnamon, cacao and orange, and the carrot cake blend. All of those four are my top four and would recommend them the most. Um, things like banana, I'm not really quite fond of. I tried the iced latte, not such a fan, but I do like their coffee and walnut blend as opposed to the iced latte. They have similar taste, but um, that one I prefer if I am gonna pick between the two. Then over here are the clear vegan proteins. So we have their new flavor, the Refreshers flavor, which I'm actually gonna try for the first time in this video. Then we've also got the strawberry flavor and the lime flavor. Then I've got this sweet potato powder, which I haven't yet experimented with, but I'm gonna try it for my dinner tonight and see what I can make out of it. Then I have my newfound love for Vita Fiber, guys. This is the perfect way to make your own homemade protein bars. I was gonna make it within this video, but but I thought I'll make a whole separate video on it instead because I have so many ideas on how you can use this fighter fiber and if you haven't used it yet, it's the good stuff. She's ready. Okay, so here they are, and I have to say, this plate is really, really heavy, and that's because these are some hefty brownies. I'm gonna get the chunkiest out of the chunkiest lot, and it looks like it is this one here. It is very chunky, let me tell you guys. But look at that, we have the bricky base there, and then the brownie topping. It's nice and gooey on the sides, just how we like it. Let's take a bite. I'm not just saying this because I always say it, but mm. this brownie is actually so, so, so good. You can appreciate the cookie and then you can also appreciate the brownie topping. It's like the best of both worlds and I'm loving it. This, this brownie is amazing, amazing. One more look at that mm. fudgy goodness. I am here for it. So I'm gonna have this as my snack and I'm gonna catch you guys later at lunchtime. Radio. so workout is complete. I'm obviously in my, my protein sports bra. It was fabulous. Now it is time for lunch, but before that I thought I'd share the supplements that I take because I get a lot of questions about that also. Um, as you would have seen this morning, I showed um, some sprays. These are vitamin sprays and I've got them in the apricot flavor for the vitamin B12, which, which is very essential for vegans if you're lacking in it. Um, and then I've also got the vitamin D3, which is essential for everyone really, especially when you're from the UK, um, in the lime flavor. And you take one spray of these and then four spritz of these. Then I've also got the vegan Amiga tablets because they don't have this spray form for those. And I haven't yet popped this pill, so I'm gonna pop it right now. Like so, of course, with my, my vegan bottle. Then, as I have just finished my workout, I thought I'd share this supplement that I take, and it's creatine monohydrate. I get heaps of questions on this also. It's not a magic supplement or anything like that. I, I'm not trying to sell you this. I'm only suggesting it. This holds water in your muscles so that um, they're retained, and then it makes your muscles look pumped out like this. I'm not saying I've got a pump because it hasn't been arm day today, it has been a leg day, but you see what I'm saying? And you either take this pre-workout, intra-workout, or post-workout, which is what I'm gonna do right now. So just in terms of pre-workout, I don't take any supplements to do pre-workout, purely because I'd rather like coffee as a caffeine source, but you do you, if you want a pre-workout, go ahead and do it. I know people have messaged me in the past and I've kind of like dismissed it, um, mainly because the pre-workout it doesn't matter where it's from, it makes me very jittery and like uh, a big caffeine rush because I'm only really a small person, it may not look like it on the internet but I'm only five foot small and that caffeine content just runs right the way through me like nothing else and I just go a bit loopy. So 
Coffee is fine for me. There is occasions where I may have pre-workout or fancy pre-workout because they have some delicious flavors, I've got to say. I try my boyfriend's one sometimes and they're absolutely fabulous, but I just can't contain the jitteriness when it comes through me. <laughs> and then finally, when it comes to workout equipment, my protein also do workout equipment. I don't have much of their workout equipment because I'm a frequent gym goer, so I tend to have equipment from way back in the time, and I have kept it ever since, such as my weightlifting belt, they do weightlifting belts, um, my barbell pads, they do barbell pads, my skipping rope, they do skipping ropes, my resistance bands, they do resistance bands. I've seen many other MyProtein ambassadors have all of these equipment um, from MyProtein, and they all suggest good use out of it, but the ones in particular that I use, these bands are really, really useful when it comes to heavier weight. I know I haven't do, been doing many heavy weights through this lockdown because I'm quite restricted with the weights that I do have but when it goes when I go back to the gym I'll definitely be making use out of these I also have a foam roller of theirs and I love doing this in the evening when I need to just untighten all of the tightened parts of my body especially my hamstrings they get really tight and this is really nice to roll on but guys I am gonna be making my lunch now so let's go into the kitchen so for my lunch we are going to be making some spaghetti and my vegan have newly released these like meal kits they do it in the spag bowl meal kit and then also the chili con carne and essentially what it is is just some soy mints with some spice mix and I really do think it's worth it because the actual spice mix in there is delicious and it comes with the soy mince, which is a great source of protein. Other than that, you've got to cook the spaghetti by yourself, but that's an easy job. So I'm going to whip this all up in the pan now and yeah. So these are the packets. We've got the wheat soy protein here and then we also have the spaghetti bolognese spice mix. And I'm just gonna throw that all in the pan, like so. By the way, this packet serves two portions, so I've split one portion for myself here. And then I'm also gonna add some mushrooms and tomatoes to that. Then all you need to do is add some water, give it a little stir, and then let it sizzle. Now, whilst the pasta is cooking away, I'm gonna be making a refreshers slushy. So I've mixed some water in there with a scoop of the refreshers vegan clear protein with some ice and then we're going to blend it all up to make a slushy. We are looking very frothy in this blender. So this is what we're looking like for lunch. We've got a bowl of spaghetti here with some mushrooms and tomatoes with the nice soy mince spag bowl seasoning. Then we've got the new Thai sweet chili pop chips, which I haven't yet tried yet, so I'm keen to try. Then we've got our little refreshers slushy, and look at the froth on that. I mean, very frothy. <laughs> so let's have a taste of our spaghetti. I haven't yet tried their spaghetti seasoning yet. I've only tried their chili con carne, so this is a first for me. But I have a feeling that it's gonna be like a similar of taste. Let's dig in. Mmm, I really like that. That is really, really good. And I'm not just saying it. I don't just say things. When it's good, and I know a lot of things in my videos are good, I mean them. <laughs> Delicious. Mm. Obviously, these meal kits are something which are more convenient. There's nothing wrong with just making pasta from fresh, but if you're looking for conveniency, this is a go-to for you. So after my pasta, I will be snackish. So we're gonna try these pop chips. Let's see how they are. Thai sweet chili, I love these kinds. You know like the Sensation um, chips? I love those, so hopefully they'll taste similar to those. Not quite similar. I can taste the Thai sweetness and chili, but it's not in your face. Like, the, as soon as it enters your taste buds, it's not like spiking chili hot temperature. It's more just like subtle chili. So I am all right with it and it will do me for a nice little snack. I might even crunch some of the chips on the pasta 
just for some extra texture. I'm all about texture. As we can see here, we've got a lot of froth on top from the ice, very icy. And I've already had a little taste of it. It's very sweet and I didn't expect it to be so sweet and like literally refreshing. And it does taste like the actual refreshers. That is honestly so sweet. So if you're the type of person that um, loves protein shakes and is looking for something a bit more sweeter than your average protein, this is the real stuff. It's like juice, a sweet protein juice. So this is what we're having for lunch. And actually, I haven't looked at the protein content in this yet, seeing it as, as it is from my protein. I wonder if it has a high protein content. Oh, so it has 11 grams of protein. That is actually quite high amount for some crisps, like more than your usual amount. And that's because it's got soya in it. So it won't be great for those people that don't like um, or can't tolerate soya. But that is really good for people that can. Because 11 grams of protein in a packet of crisps. Who would have known? Love that. Anyways, dudes, I am going to catch you guys next at dinner time. As you would have seen, I made a sweet potato flatbread, which was so simple to make, as you would have seen. It was just yogurt with some sweet potato powder, some flour and some seasoning. Then I added some cheese to it, as well as some caramelized onions, which I used with the butterscotch syrup in a pan. Just caramelized them over the pan there. With some spinach, and then I served it with some lettuce, spinach, and some capers with some hot sauce. With the sweet potato um, flatbread, I had in mind um, in making like pesto rolls in a skillet, but I decided on the flatbread instead because I wanted something cheesy. I could have made cheesy rolls instead, but we went with this, so that's what we're having. So let's see what it will look like if we tear it in half. Oh, there we go. Very fluffy, very bread-like. Let's have a taste. Look at the texture of that. That is really, really good and tastes really mm. nice also. I can really taste the um, sweet potato and you can actually see sweet potato speckles in there as well. I've not used the powder as of yet until today and I'm quite impressed with the turnout of it. I'm sure you can make like sweet potato pancakes with it, sweet, sweet potato waffles and so many other things with the sweet potato powder. I'm definitely gonna enjoy this for my dinner. Then, for my dessert, I have chosen to have a carb crusher. Now, they do carb crushes in various flavours. They do the chocolate sea salt, they do banoffee, and they also do peanut butter and chocolate orange. But my favourite is the carb crusher, then it would be banoffee and then chocolate orange. I'm not such a fan of the peanut butter, I find it quite dry. So if you're looking to get a flavour, I would highly suggest the chocolate sea salt, it's really, really good. But this is what it looks like on the insides, and you can even melt it in the microwave for around 20 seconds. Wouldn't do more than 10 to 20 seconds because these ones easily burn. And then they melt so nicely, you can have it just like a protein cake. Again, a really nice, delicious snack to have. So I'm going to enjoy this for my dinner now. I really do hope you guys liked watching this video. If you are wanting to buy any of the products today, I do have a discount code, it is LHMYP. I do get commission off of anyone that uses my link, which would be an amazing support network for if you guys are willing to do that. It's completely off of your own back, you don't need to click on that link. It doesn't alter the prices of any of the products on, on the site. It's purely just a commission link for me to 
have a support network with my protein and my vegan as well as using my code LHMYP. But guys, if you like this video, let me know by giving me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more from me, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye.